Right, brace yourselves, I now seriously propose to, in a couple of minutes, answer one of the big questions in life. Why can't we find lasting happiness? Well, I believe there's actually a pretty simple reason for this, and uh, I think I can describe it in just a minute or two. So here we go. Pleasure is not just for fun. That might sound silly, but what I mean is that it has a function. We have evolved the ability to feel pleasure because it helps us survive and reproduce. The people in the past who didn't feel pleasure or, importantly, felt pleasure at the inappropriate moments, they didn't become our ancestors. No, the people who felt pleasure uh, when they stabbed themselves or were feeling really amazingly cold uh, they didn't become our ancestors. No, the people who became our ancestors, they were the ones who, when hungry, thought, oh, I fancy eating something. And then they ate something, and oh, they felt, oh, it was a great meal. They got a reward. They felt good. They liked the, the taste of eating, which encouraged them to do it again. And afterwards, they felt so satisfied. Oh, lovely, best meal they've had in ages. But here's where the system might break down. If we were capable of sustaining the feeling of pleasure, then it wouldn't work, would it? If you ate a meal and thought, oh, that's great, I feel so satisfied, and that feeling stayed with you, you wouldn't eat again. Pleasure has to be transient. It's just a, you know, a, the little carrot um, that, that nature gives you a nibble of, but if you uh, nibble it once and then think, that's great, I've nibbled the carrot now, I never need to do that again, then the carrot ceases to function. So you have to have carrot and stick. You eat the meal, then you feel hungry again. So then you eat the meal, so then you feel hungry again, and so forth. You enjoy having an attempt at making a little hunter-gatherer, and then, you know, perhaps that feeling goes away, and you think, well, I'd quite like to feel that feeling again. So you have a go at making another little hunter-gatherer. And that's how you, uh, you, you, you little carrier of genes, you, you become someone's ancestor. So there we go. We are biologically incapable of sustaining pleasure, and that's why we can't find lasting happiness. And anyone who tells you that they can find you lasting happiness is selling something. Which is another reason why this realisation, if you agree with me, is quite a useful one. Because if you know that you are biologically incapable of sustaining pleasure, then you know that if you ever achieve something that you've been trying for, for a long time, um, then you won't be surprised or disappointed when that feeling of pleasure goes away. You win the lottery, you feel great! But after a while, you feel sort of roughly as happy as you did before, and then you have to be planning for the next thing. You see, uh, nature, evolution or whatever, doesn't want you to be happy. Evolution uh, is a force that has caused us to um, evolve instincts that encourage us to do the right things for survival and reproduction purposes. Um, it, uh, all the people um, who could sustain pleasure died. So there you go.